Here's how the sight looks like on the gun. And here is the stare down. Attack of Aubrey? Hello? Hey, what's up, friend? It's a fish. What are we doing to him? Psst. I see dead people. So, uh, what's up, guys? It's your here by Nino Orquaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer Warzone and Zombies. In today's video, we got this new crazy tracer pack known as Tracer Pack Nuclear Family Ultra Skin Mastercraft Bundle. And as you guys know, with Mastercraft bundles, they have a special inspect on one of the guns. So, uh, it's for 2400 COD points, comes with two operator skins, it looks like. A Mastercraft weapon of the Attack of Vavre and a Ram 9, I believe it is. And some special traces. So, if you guys are excited to see how the new inspect looks like, see anything secret about this bundle, and anything, you know, how camels look like as well, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. If you're new to the channel, I upload store bundle videos that interest me, like tracer packs, ultra skins, mastercrafts, reactors, whatever the case is. And I also upload high kill warzone gameplays from time to time. So if you enjoy any of that, definitely, you know, stick around and subscribe. With all that being said, on this 4th of July, let's check out the, this new bundle. So we got the operator skin of Swagger, known as Mutant Visage. And we got the operator skin of Scorch, known as Mutant Demise. They're essentially the same skin, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're on different sides. So that means you can essentially run the same skin on uh, on both sides. So just looking at Swagger here, he looks uh, a little bit built, ready to, to destroy some fools. You know, trying to nuke some fools, I guess. I'm guessing they're like twins or something. And then uh, looking at Scorch here, Mutant Demise, he's a little bit less built from the looks of it. But they're essentially the same skin, which is actually really cool. They should do this more, as long as it doesn't jack up the price. Uh, have skins that essentially look the same, but you can run it on either side, which is kind of cool. Next up, we got the Ram 9 Deviant Absolution with some tracers. And as you can see, you got some like nuclear tracers that, you know, makes the opponents radioactive. And this is a pretty cool animated blueprint. You can see some little, um, you know, liquids going throughout the gun, which I think looks pretty nice. No ammunition though, so you can't put these tracers on any other gun in the game. But a uh, very cool looking blueprint, very clean. And I love the look of it. Next up, we got the Attack of Valvere Stare Down. Goo Field Chamber for your BFF is included. What do they mean by that? Let's check out the tracers. And as you can see, the tracers are very similar to the Ram 9 tracers as well. And uh, yeah, it comes with these attachments. No ammunition, so you can't put it on any, uh, you know, you can't put the tracers on any other gun in the game. It looks like there's a little friend there in the magazine. I'm guessing this one has the uh, special inspect. We got a large decal known as Growing Up Different. Uh, weapon sticker of Half Mast. Weapon sticker of Mind Over Matter and loading screen of Nuclear Family. So essentially, you're just trying to get the same operator skin for both sides. A Ram 9 Tracer and Attack of Alvary Tracer. Uh, all for 2400 COD points. Eh, might be a bit pricey, but maybe the Inspect and the Tracers will come up for it. You know, make up for it, but we'll have to wait and see. But let me know you guys' initial thoughts on this bundle. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. So here we got our dude Swagger or the other skin uh, with the same operator skin basically looking pretty clean. And here we got the weapons of the Ram 9 Deviant Absolution and the Stare Down Tack of Valvere. So when it comes to the Ram 9, if you want to keep the tracers, you can change any of the attachments except for the ammunition. If you add an ammunition, you'll lose the tracer. So you guys know the drill. Uh, here's how the gun looks like with Gilded. Here's how it looks like with Forged. Here's how it looks like with Priceless. And here's how it looks like with Interstellar. So nothing too terrible, honestly. Here's how it looks like with Golden Enigma, Zircon Scale, Serpentonite, and Borealis. So very good color combinations. One trick and as well as Molten Obsidian. So I'm, I, I like what I'm seeing right now. You can really see that the, the little green parts, the animated parts, uh, it sticks to the gun extremely well, at least with the base, obviously, blueprint attachment. So uh, if you wanted to switch it up, you could definitely make this gun look extremely beautiful with uh, with some of these camos, which I really like personally. You can, you can make some amazing color combinations with this joint. It looks really, really freaking sweet. So honestly, huge, huge W. Uh, for the most part. And then going over to the special camos, it's pretty much the same drill. You're pretty much going to keep the, the little green parts on the gun. So you can combine it with some, you know, brighter colors, some any of the colors. It's actually really nice to see, as well as glittery flats camos. They pretty much have a, a very similar design. So it doesn't encompass the entire gun like some other camos do, unfortunately. The solid color camos also look pretty good here, or the bold camos. And then finally, the solid color camos, which I know you guys are, are pretty keen of as well, so... W blueprint, honestly. And when it comes to the attack of Valvary Stare Down, you want to keep the traces, you can change any of the attachments except for the ammunition. And if you change the magazine to a 7.62 magazine, 
or not the 762, but if you change it to a 556 magazine, then you will also lose the traces. So you can only use a 50 round belt or no magazine and don't change the ammunition because you add an ammunition, like I said, you'll lose the tracers. This gun's a bit of a special case. Uh, here's how it looks like with Gilded. Here's how it looks like with Forged. Here's how it looks like with Priceless. And here's how it looks like with Interstellar. Unique colors, to say the least. Golden Enigma, Zircon Scale, Serpentinite, as well as Borealis. And we also got One Trick, as well as Molten Obsidian. So with some of the darker camos, you're going to see a lot more of the design of this blueprint. In certain cases, and other camos. So kind of depends on the camo that you decide to rock. Some of these are definitely going to be way more fire than others, uh, for sure. And then others are going to be whatever with this blueprint. Not like the Ram 9 where like everything kind of works. Ooh, this camo looks really nice on this freaking gun. What the heck? That looks beautiful, bro. As well as the, the shifting grid camos. Those new get higher camos are, are impeccable. And the same deal with the CDL camos here. The brighter camos are kind of trash, whereas the darker camos, you can actually distinguish some of the parts of the blueprints a little bit better. Here's some of the glittery flats camos. They only cover like the outer parts of the gun, which is interesting. Here's how the bold camos look. They actually cover the entire gun on like the glittery flats. And here's the solid colors camos, which is a little bit of a mix in between. It's an all right blueprint. And now I'm gonna show you guys how the guns look like with their meta class setups for multiplayer. So here are the base blueprint attachments for the Ram 9 Deviant Absolution. And here's how the gun looks like with its meta class setup for multiplayer. So unfortunately, when you take off that barrel, you you'll lose a lot of the look of this gun. But otherwise, the main middle part is pretty much the same, which is okay. Here are the base blueprint attachments for the Attack of Valvary Stare Down. And here's the meta class setup that I come up with for multiplayer for the Stare Down Attack of Valvary while using the 762 base ammo. So nothing too crazy, it does lose a lot of its look though. And if you're wondering about the decal, here's the decal and how it looks like on the SVA 545. You know, growing up different, you definitely look a little bit funny. And like I said, what's really cool about this bundle is that you essentially have the same operator skin on both sides. So if you wanna have it on the left, you just gotta look under the operator of Scorch and then put on Mutant Demise. And then you go over to the right, you gotta go ahead and put on Swagger and then put on the Mutant Visage which is pretty much the same skin. So really cool, really hope they do this more in the future as long as the, the price doesn't go up, it stays you know below 2400 or whatever. I think that's like a huge W, but yeah. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the traces in game as well as check out the special Mastercraft Inspect. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we are with the Ram 9 Deviant Absolution, I believe it was called. And here's how the sight looks like on the gun. And here is the stare down. Attack of Valvary? Hello? Hey, what's up, friend? It's a fish! What are we doing to him? Yo, is he alive, bro? Oh, he's, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. He's alright, he's alright. That's crazy, though, bro. We really shake it up like it's a fish tank, bro. That fool looked dead for a sec. <laughs> so that's the, the Mastercraft Inspect, which I kind of like. Very goopy. I'm a fan of the tracers. I'm a fan of the, uh, let me see, the sights also looking pretty cool. Very goopy looking tracers. I like the inspect, like I said before. Overall, I think I think it's so far, it's a, it's a W. I'd say so far. And in case you guys are wondering, here's how the iron sights look like on the Ram 9. And here's how it looks like on the Tack of Valvary, so. Nothing too different, you just see a little strand of like uh, liquid going through the barrel of the gun, which is pretty cool, but nothing substantial. And now let's check out this death effect and see how uh, crazy it might be. Let me put him a little bit more in front. Nice little impacts. And yeah, you pretty much explode them into a little green mist, so nice little explosive death effect of green sludge, which I think is pretty dope. Now let's see if anything happens if we head some headshots. Yeah, pretty much the, the same ordeal. They just destroy into a nice little green goop, so nothing too wild in terms of like the, uh, the effects. Also, if you're wondering about the guns glowing in the dark, here's how it looks like. Very, very nice looking guns in the dark. As well as your operator skin, it's, the, the veins are a little bit more apparent. Of course, you gotta look at our friend again. Are you still alive, homie? Let me mess you up real quick. You know, you gotta be tough out here. 
Hey, wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you okay? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He, he, he's rocking. <laughs> Such a funny little inspect. If you're wondering how you look like to the enemies, you're, this is how you're going to look like. So you're not too bright at all. The only thing is, in the dark areas, your little eye area will probably bright be bright. But other than that, not too bad. Now let's check out our finisher for our operator. Yeah. Body this fool. <laughs> Looking pretty tight. And here we are in third person mode with our full on operator skin showing off. Like I said, he's nothing too wild or extravagant. He's like kind of a clean operator skin. He just looks a little bit different from the front and that's it. And uh, we try inspecting our gun here. We pull out the, the LMG real fast. Can we see the, uh, the inspect at all? Yeah, this is how the inspect looks like from third person. So nothing too crazy. I like how the, all the animations are still kind of kind of there. Yeah, we even <laughs> poked the little uh, the little freaking fishbowl. But yeah, then what do you guys think about this uh, this bundle? You guys think it's a W? Do you guys think it's an L? I just wish we had more master crafts for like other guns in the game that are better in the game. We need some crazy inspects like like we did with the MCW and that one Godzilla bundle. That was pretty cool. But we need that for like other like good guns in the game. Having it for such a random LMG is kind of a Kind of a rip for me, but besides that, I think the bundle's all right. So you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to you, turn on those post notifications, you know, I'd be going crazy with the bundle reviews. But just so you guys know, after today, uh, if I miss something over the weekend, I do apologize. I will be away this weekend visiting my girlfriend. So if I miss something, I do apologize. You know, I, I just won't be uploading. And if I have no videos at all, I also apologize in advance. It's just, uh, I'm very busy with the main channel. So hope you guys don't forget about me. Thank you guys for your love and support always. And I just want to say, I really love you guys from the bottom of my heart. You're freaking incredible. <laughs>